February 16th. I was worried about today because of the dream I told you about. Lately, I've been filled with the knowledge that the killer will strike again. But because it is just a feeling, I am powerless to stop it. One year ago, almost to the day, in a town in the southwest corner of this state, the body of a young girl named Teresa Banks was found. She had no family. No one came forward to claim her body. It wasn't even news. Her skull. Probable cause, repeated blows to the back of the head by a blunt, obtuse, angled object. <laughs> at Hap's Diner, worked the night shift. She only worked here a month. Nice girl. Never seemed to get here on time, though. You ask me. She had a little problem with... <laughs> Lives at the Fat Trout trailer park for a month. I took a trailer over there, and I never touched a goddamn thing. Thank you, Carl. Sorry to wake you. All right. Having a bad dream anyway. What are you looking for? What was here, Mr. Rod? cases. The clues that were found have led to dead ends. The letter that was extracted from beneath the fingernail of Teresa Banks gives me the feeling that the killer will strike again. Like the song goes, who knows where or when. One more thing, Albert. When the next murder happens, you will help me solve it. Let's test it for the record. Will the next victim be a man or a woman? A woman. All right. What color hair will she have? Blonde. Tell me some other things about her. She's in high school. She is sexually active. She's using drugs. Crying out for help. Well, damn, Cooper, that really narrows it down. You're talking about half the high school girls in America. What's she doing right now? She's preparing a great abundance of food. 